Hey guys, welcome back, Luca here. Today I want to talk about where are the tech jobs and what are some things that you should avoid and consider when you're making decisions about whether you want to get into tech. Ever since last year, we have been in this sort of tech recessions where a lot of companies are slowing down hiring and we have seen a lot of layoffs. And because of that, there has been a looming fear, hey, maybe tech isn't the best role anymore. Now that it has been more than a year, since all these things that have started, where are we heading towards? Based on some of the other diagrams, graphs, and trajectory that I have seen, sure, since the peak of the pandemic, a lot of the open roles available for tech people have decreased dramatically. For example, at the height of the pandemic, there's around 500,000 open roles, but now we are seeing that number closer to 300,000. Of course, like this could be alarming, but I think there's more that we have to consider before we can make a decision. Another thing we have to consider is the number of relevant degrees that we are seeing every single year from the graduating class. That includes computer science degree, software engineering, or information and technology. So we have seen that number increase more than 50% since four years ago. So what does that mean putting into a number? So before the pandemic, we see about 50,000 to 60,000 students graduating with a bachelor in these sort of degrees. But now that number is closer to 100,000, if not more. And all these information are early 2021 and 2022. So that number could still be on the upward trend. So we can clearly see there has been a lag in these sort of students. So because computer science has seen so many different movements, this major is getting a lot more attention. And because of that, a lot more students nowadays want to study this major because they know about the lucrative pay and the big techs and what they are doing. And the overall tech field is also expanding. But to keep in mind, and the number of graduating class is also increasing. That is also a very important factor to consider. So it means like there's also a lot of new supplies in the market. And not only because of that, we have seen rounds of layoffs where they let go a lot of folks. Of course, a lot of them could be outside of the US, but we still can't deny like 20-30% of them are within the states. And on top of that, we also have boot camps, people with certificates who are also looking for a job. So I would say, sure, like with all these slowdowns, of course we will see a drop in supply in these software engineering roles, but I don't think it's too alarming just yet because it's not like a negative influx. Of course, this doesn't deny the fact that right now it's one of the hardest time to find one of the tech jobs. So what are some of the alternatives? I would say if you're someone without relevant experience, right now is definitely not the best time to enroll in these paid bootcamps, paid certificates. Because a lot of these aren't really that relevant for many companies. And many companies not gonna be like, oh, you have a bootcamp, you have a certificate, let me hire you way more than any other candidates. Like, I don't think bootcamp and certificate give you enough edge alone. So I wouldn't say like, that's the first thing that you should consider, especially in the market today. Of course, there are still bootcamp that guarantee, like promise you that you can find a job or else they give you a full refund. Of course, those might be at a lesser risk, but there might be a lot of caveats that you have to also look into. So I would recommend watching my other video which, where I provide some of the free resources. I think right now is the best time to pick it on the side and not really commit too much monetary into studying these relevant skills. So some of the example might be working on open source or working on a personal project or slash passion projects because many people have the mis conception of if you finish a bootcamp or get this certificate or get the next certificate, get the next bootcamp, you will eventually find a job. But I don't think they are equivalent. Like just because you have these, it doesn't imply you will find a job. So I think that's a common misconception for a lot of people who want to go into a bootcamp. It's a great resources to learn, but you also have to consider how much it costs. So that's something that you have to be aware of. So I would say there's still a lot of other that you can consider right now. For example, freelance roles. There is still a lot of projects available on freelancing website where people are just looking for someone to 
do a service once like hey like can you help me kickstart my website or can you do some task help me add this new feature i think these are some good ways for you to rack up some relevant skill sets if you don't really want to work on your personal project or open source another thing that you can look into is contracting roles in situation like this a lot of companies don't really necessarily want to take on an employee but they might be looking for hiring contracting roles so being a contractor is also another way to get yourself in the door and potentially have re more relevant skill set while building these skills. And the last thing that I recommend for a lot of people who may have no tech experience or just getting started is to look into internship roles. There's nothing wrong with applying for an internship role even if you started a career, even if you just started and being an entry level. I think getting into an internship is a lot easier than many full-time roles and they also give you this relevant experience that you can use to leverage in the future. Of course, many internship roles are designed for people who are still in school, but there are also internship roles that's available for more than just people in the school. So I would say like, depending on your current situation, you can consider which one makes the most sense for you. So I would say right now we are at this crossroad where tech can head into many different directions. We are yet to see the impact of a lot of these applied AI just yet. Like will it increase more job opportunity in the short term or will we start seeing more dramatic decline in a lot of these? Because right now I think it's still very too early and many of the bigger tech companies are already resuming hiring as well. So maybe this will shine some more excitement into the field and potentially and maybe open more opportunities. So yeah guys, I hope this video was informative and helpful. Let me know if you have any questions or video topics that you would like me to cover. Make sure to comment them below. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I will talk to you guys next time.